How am I even gonna start this? Um, I'm here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was the best way to do it. I am here <laughs> and alive and haven't posted anything or streamed since before my surgery, I think. I don't think I've done anything since my surgery, which was January 17th. Um, the last thing I posted was a quick little video. The short was from the hospital, and then I did a little video afterwards, actually. So never mind. I, I did something after surgery. But uh, it is Mar uh, April 1st tomorrow? Is it? Is it March 31st? I took off of work today, so I don't have to worry about a date. Um, yeah, tomorrow's April 1st. I am two weeks past my two full months since surgery. Um, I know I said I was going to do update videos and, and let you all know how it's going. But in all honesty, when I had in my mind of doing like an update video, I want to be outside. I have a GoPro. I want to walk. I want to do something. I'm not used to using my phone to just record stuff. So maybe I should. Um, but I like sitting at my computer. I have a nice little setup for myself. Nothing crazy, but I like it. And I have a nice mic. And, and I don't know. I just haven't really... I don't want to walk outside in like 20 degree weather. But this week it's going to be near 50s or above 50. And I really want to start walking. My physical therapist wants me to get out there and walk a lot which is great. I need to. <laughs> so maybe, but as a quick general update of how I'm doing, cause I know I've had some, some people subscribe to me and like my video before surgery, after surgery in the hospital and, and more. Um, also I'm looking at myself in this camera. I need to go back and look at my other videos. Because my face used to, like, be bigger. <laughs> I look so different to myself in this camera. I've seen myself in the mirror, and I kind of caught it last week, but my god. It really looks different. Which is good. Um, I guess I'll start with how I'm feeling. Feeling really good. <laughs> um, I want to break and eat bad stuff sometimes. Those thoughts creep in, you know? Um, but I just have to refuse them. You know, when I, when I make a little mistake, cause I, I made one, I actually got given the wrong thing from a place when I ordered something, spent money on it, ordered something. I was at work, didn't make food, which I've been making almost every day. So when I forget, I order something, which is rare. Um, and they gave me something fried. I had one little fried thing. My stomach wasn't happy with it. Don't do it. It's just, it was the only thing I had. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try to eat something. I needed something. It was bad. So mentally, I'm doing really good. It's a struggle sometimes because there are things that you can't do anymore. I luckily, you know, food wise, I can give up that stuff. I don't, it hasn't been plaguing me of like, I need to eat something. I, I want something bad. I want something all the time. I still get those cravings. I'm still like, I want to, you know, I'm bored. I want to eat something like that's just a mentality thing that I'm, I'm focusing on breaking um, and I'm working through. But your stomach doesn't let you, you know what I mean? Like you get full really quick and, and when you're full, you're full. And if you ever go above it, which I did in my first month a little bit, second month, not really. First month I did a tiny bit like here and there. And it's it's painful. It's really painful. Your stomach and your esophagus, you feel it because food. I think I did a video right after surgery. I don't remember how much I weighed or if I said how much I weigh at that point. But as a recap. I was 343 pounds before surgery. I was 343 pounds before my two-week liquid diet before surgery. The hospital's scale um, after my two-week liquid diet was around 323. Today, March 31st, two weeks after the two-month anniversary of having my, my surgery, I guess. Why do I say things so weird? <laughs> I now weigh, as of late last week, 276 pounds. I can't describe how incredible it feels 
you're hungry a lot less. Sorry, I'm about to say a lot more. You're hungry a lot less, and you have to fill that space in your mind with other things than like, you know, before surgery, I was thinking, I just need to eat all the time. I want this, I want that. What time is lunch? <laughs> I'm hungry as hell all the time, but now I have all this free space, which is why it's like, why haven't I recorded anything? Why haven't I streamed on Twitch? Why haven't I uploaded any gameplay stuff? Just cause you know, I'm not looking for anything more than just it's fun. And I was, you know, beforehand saying, I want to be this person that can be for those other guys or women, if you want to watch me too, but those other guys out there who are looking for somebody around our age, my age, I'm 28 years old, turning 29 in June. Who's going through this process um yeah so i'm gonna try to do that better now that i'm kind of like you know it, it was it was hard the first two months it was just a lot of adjustments i'm still adjusting i mean i'm still going through a lot of adjustments you know the diet with a dietitian trying to follow as best i can um still eating a lot of protein every day not much protein protein shakes unless I need to. If I can't get breakfast or lunch or something, I'll get a protein shake. Usually a muscle milk, like 40 gram. 40, 40 grams of protein. I can't talk. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, of course. Let me just try to think through this a little bit. I've started physical therapy. I don't see my doctor again for another three months. Dietitian I'm not seeing this month. I'm probably going to see her next month my medications are going down uh i don't think i said but you know i was on one losartan 100 milligram with a 25 htc it's basically just a water pill a losartan with water pill i was on a whole pill of that before surgery a couple weeks afterwards i would cut it down to a half of one of those and an amlodipine my blood pressure was around 160 150 when it's really bad when i'm not on any medication i was 340 something pounds um over another really high number <laughs> it could scale 80s 90s or higher sometimes it scared my doctor a lot um now it's a consistent the bottom number is around 60s 70s and the top number you know at a high recently was 120. it feels really good um when i take my medicine like some days, a really good day was last week at physical therapy. I was 110 over 60. I have felt so amazing, physically healthy. You know, my confidence is up just in every aspect of my life. I can wear so many clothes that I haven't worn in over a year and a half. <laughs> it just feels so good. <laughs> I know I may seem like a little shy or something right now. I just haven't been on camera in a while and I'm learning how to talk again which I never truly figured out to begin with. So uh, if you're going through it, you know, throw some comments in. Maybe we, you know, if you need somebody to talk to through it or ask more questions about it, leave a comment or something or join a support group. I joined a discord that has all bariatric patients and they have every kind of topic, you know, topics about like relationships, topics about friends and family, food, recipes, exercise, pre-op, post-op, um, just everything. Also an NSFW section, you know, because there's a lot of things that change there too. Uh, you know, not gonna talk about it on YouTube, but there's a lot of stuff with just your bowel movements and stuff that people don't wanna talk about, but they'll talk about there because everybody's going through it, you know? There's so many things that can help you. Uh, and it's all about your mentality. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be so worth it. <laughs> I can't express. Like, sometimes I just want to tear up because I get so excited and so happy about the changes this is, you know, doing for me. Um, it's just changing my life entirely. <laughs> my eyes are watering because I'm talking about it now. But it, it really does. You know, everybody tells you you look amazing. You look great. You're disappearing. <laughs> feels good it feels really good and people are supportive you know it's just really good just make sure you keep a support group with you whether that's finding people who are going through it having a good batch of friends that can help you through it um but yeah feeling good drop some comments because this was an impromptu video it's just like you know what let me make it let me just do it and i d anyway this video went a bit longer and i rambled
So I'll see you guys next time.